I'm getting on up the road, Sacagawea, Saturday. What's up, Yummy Lows? It's Comcast, Mr. 5150, or a comical misfit. That's me. I don't fit into your regular uh, social stereotypes. I'm me, bitch. Check this right here out, man. Now, today, before I, about six hours before I set out on my travels, right, fucking locked the keys in the car. Now, first thing that y'all think, like, I thought, $50, bitch. You got to pay $50, bitch, to get them keys out of the car. But, you know, I was like, damn, I don't want to pay $50. Because I'm a tight wad, I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> but, hey, man, that's, that's, that's on it. So, uh, I say, wifey. She was like, yes, you misfit motherfucker. Like, but damn, keys in the car. And, oh, oh, yeah, and it wasn't my car. I like the keys in my wife's car. Um, like, like y'all say, uh, wait, uh, wait a second, say that, well, um, well, you see, uh, having to lock them both in the damn car, don't ask me, it's a long story, and, um, yeah, now, lock both sets of damn keys in the car, wifey 38 hot with me, I thought she was swing on me by the time or two. So I was like, yo, baby, how about you call the insurance company to see if we got pop lock service? Man, she called the insurance company. Said, yup, we got it. Hold on. This is a slow motherfucker right here. I, I already know I'm about to go zoom around this bitch. But anyway, so she called, got the pop lock service and shit. Now, I enjoy meeting people. That's just something, man. I, I, I love meeting people, man. That is my bread and butter. I just like meeting new people. Anyway, the guy comes. Um, uh, he looks like he about, I don't know, about probably about 65. But he don't look like he hates his job. So he sees Pugsley. <laughs> he sees Pugsley behind the fence. Fucking with a bar. <laughs> Just talking shit to him. So he's talking to Bugs like, Bugsley, don't be upset. Please, I'm here. Here to help. You know? Anyway, yada, 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 yada. So he said he's going to give Bugsley a treat so he can make a new friend. And so he said that he got a little dog in, in the car, too. You know, so he got there and stuff. Man, I do had, bruh. Them pop a lot guys, bro, I, I don't, man, I don't give a damn what kind of car that you got. Them motherfuckers could, could get in your shit, bro. He had this, uh, first, he had used, like, the, uh, it's like a little pump and shit. And he slides it in between the door and the body of the car, and he pumps it. And he pumps it, and it spreads the door like a wedge, you know. And then he puts in, like, this little flimsy little tool. So he tried, tried that, but the way, the way that the, um, but the way that the, uh, 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 the little locks are, you know, he couldn't get it open. So anyways, he said, I'll, I'll be right back. I got a swan tool. I was like, what the hell? A swan tool. So I started getting extremely interested because I was, hey, because I want to see what the fuck is a swan tool. I'll be damned. The damn tool looked just like a damn swan. So what he did was, now, if y'all know what a Slim Jim is, don't you know how they slide, slide the Slim Jim in between the little rubber piece and the windshield, and they slide it down and they jimmy it up? But he didn't do that. He took the swan tool, stuck it down between the rubber piece, and the windshield went in the door, and the tool came came up on the other side, which is on the inside of the um, car. And that that shit was just amazing to me. That he was to He's like, well, that that didn't work, and I'm and I'm gonna get the swan tool. The swan tool worked because the way he used it, he just had went in, and the little swan swan tool he kept jimmying it, and then he hit the button. The unlock button. Like, boom! You know what I'm saying? Open the door. So he takes all of his little gear and stuff, all his little tools and stuff, and then he comes comes back with a bag of treats for Pugsley. 
it was called something like some dog dog jerky. And throughout this whole thing, man, I didn't get the guy's name, man. God damn. Forgot the dude's name. Well, I don't think he never told me. No, I don't think I never asked. But anyway, man, um, he came back, and he was serious about the treat. So he asked me if he could get Pugsley the treat. I was like, yeah, 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 man, go ahead. So Pugsley over there thinking he a motherfucking 150 pound dog. <laughs> Barking at him, man. Rah! Now, I can imagine who those barks who said, Why the fuck you come back? Hey, you finished, motherfucker? It's time for you to leave, motherfucker. But anyway, the dude had pulled out the tree, so I'm thinking the pug is going to chill out and shit. Pug is still, So the guy said, Well, all right, then. I'm going to just drop drop the tree on the ground for you. Second, the dude had dropped the tree, and he stepped back. Pugsy tore that tree up, man. It was funny as hell. So he said, Well, yeah, well, I got to get back. I got to get back here to my little dog in the car. He won lion. His his dog could fit in my pocket. That was a little ass dog. So he said, he said, he said, he said that he had her for like seven years. So I'm thinking it was, you know, big dog. Man, that dog was little. It was like a little Taco Bell dog. But the man, she she was the cutest little dog ever, man. And he had like a little bed. It was set up. It was set up on the seat in a little pop a lock car and shit. I started rubbing her and stuff. She was she she was spoiled right. She was spoiled right. So the guy fell in love with Pugsy, man, and left Pugsy a whole bag of treats, man. So I was like, thank you, man. So that that was just a really good, really good experience that I had. And then plus. Pop a lock ain't cost me a damn thing. I love my insurance company. I just love them. Oh, Bobby, 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 Bobby. But anyway, yeah, I love my insurance company. Man, it's a big truck about to be up on my 86. But anyway, um, I love my insurance company. But anyway, y'all, that was just an experience with a person that truly loves their job and. I truly think that if a person is doing something that that they honestly love with their heart, no matter how hard or how rough or how tough that it looks to us, it's not a job to them. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, there, there, there was just a little quick little story and stuff. I'm trying to keep my video short. Shout out to iLenny TV. Damn, Comical, you got some long videos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to keep it sharp, man. So y'all take it easy, man. And if y'all have have a good experience with a service provider, whether it be a tow truck company, pop a lot, Walmart employee, share that, man. Because we too often hear about the horror stories. So this Comcast, Mr. 5150, a misfit always. Saying I'm out this mother. Yeah, I'm the low house. Yeah, I'm a lot. Who 